Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bullpen. It's my dear brother from another mother, politically misguided, but has some redeeming qualities, Shelly Winter. We try to do this at least once a month. Typically, it gets off the rails, it's ridiculous, but we always try. For the last two opportunities, it has actually been an okay conversation, I must say. Because you Shelly. let me talk. Okay, Shelly. <laughs> good day, sir, welcome. <laughs> What's going on, my brother? It's good to see you. Good to see you too, man. Um, we got a basketball, we're gonna do a, a basketball invitational uh, in Southeast Atlanta. So I want you to be part of that, I'll send you Absolutely. the details, okay? Absolutely, yes sir. All right, that's for all the young people in the, in the community. Okay, we're gonna chop it up about conservatives, black conservatives uh, increasing in numbers. Uh, maybe they're taking advantage of the non-delivery of Joe Biden because as I've said on the record, uh, Biden has not delivered what he campaigned upon. Obviously, black folks are frustrated about that. You see that represented in the polling data. So let's talk about it. I don't want to presume what you know, or believe, Shelly, about that dynamic that's happening in politics right now. So if you would give us your sentiment, and I will opine. Um, really, what you just said it. The, uh, uh, whether you agree with polls or not, um, the polling I always say are a snapshot in time, and the polling right now essentially shows Joe Biden um, losing African Americans from 95, 94 percent down to I think the last Real Clear Politics average has it about 76 percent, which is a huge number from the base. Um, so when you, if you just look at the polling numbers, um, I believe that. That there's a huge opportunity now for African American conservatives who have some sense uh, to go out there and talk to African American voters and meet them where they are um, on the issues: inflation, high prices, uh, war in Ukraine, uh, taxation, school choice, and high crime. You know, it's really interesting, and I actually agree with you on the sentiment that. Uh, Biden's numbers are slipping, but it's a reason, okay? So I'm, I'm gonna get into that reason. Uh, Biden was at 8% disapproval rating within his first two months with African Americans. All right, that's actually good, right, as far as overall statistics. And then that number about a month and a half ago increased to roughly 30% disapproval among African Americans. That number has um, gone in the right direction uh, for Biden slightly after the successful appointment of Judge Katanji Brown Jackson. And so that helped him with some of the African American numbers because that actually was one campaign promise that he made and he and he kept, all right? So they're gonna try to ride that all the way out uh, to the midterm elections. It's not going to be strong enough, obviously, to overturn some of the other dynamics they campaigned on, uh, such as the George Floyd Policing and Accountability Act, the John Lewis Voting Rights Act, and, and there are a few others uh, that they have failed to deliver. But let me say this about why black people are uh, saying they express disapproval to the administration. That also includes a black woman who's a graduate of an HBCU. The reason why that's happening is because black people are looking at policy, would you not agree? They're looking at policy and the lack of delivery of what they voted for. Oh, absolutely, but okay. of course they, they are looking at policy. They're also looking at their kitchen table issues. Black yeah. voters, I've often said it, are no different than white voters when it comes to going to the grocery store and buying groceries and finding that they're paying more than they were paying a month ago or two months ago or three yeah. months ago, high gas prices. Um, and also I think crime is gonna play an overwhelmingly uh, important uh, uh, um, uh, part in these midterm elections. Crime rising. Okay. So yeah, I, yeah. So I agree. So with it's you. it's a policy yeah. issue. And, and okay, so we, we agree on that. Issues. So here's the point I'm making. Republicans will have to fundamentally change uh, in order to secure more black conservatives on their side. And I've always said this from day one. When you tell a party that you're going to vote for them no matter what, they're going to take advantage of you. Absolutely. And and so what have what have Democrats done? And by, by part, in part, Republicans are to blame too. So let me show you the game that's being played right now in the precarious situation it puts us in. We vote for the Democrat because the Democrat is at least saying, here are the things germane to your community that we are willing to solve. If it's access to education, if it's enhancing small minority business loan opportunities, if it's creating 
um, localized or hyper local opportunities uh, for uh, opportunity zones, etc., for black communities or black business owners, whatever it may be, they're campaigning on these things. They're campaigning on voter rights, they're campaigning on reform. And then they get in there, they don't deliver. Well, once they're up a re-election, Shelley, here's the unfortunate reality. They then say, well, listen, well, I just couldn't do it the first time. But if you vote for me again, we'll have exactly the numbers we need to make it happen this time. The challenge is the Republicans are typically not even having the same conversation. You can't get them to engage in a good faith conversation about those reforms, which 96% of Americans agree that we need police reform, right? These things are actually bipartisan issues. So this is what we're left with, brother. We're left with one political party that says, what the hell are you going to do, vote for this guy? And then this guy, the other side is saying, uh, we're not changing a damn thing. We have our agenda, we're not changing for you. We're not talking about your issues, vote for us anyway, because it'll make Democrats look bad. And, and I, so it's like, so so where does the black voter go that's conscientious about policy when one side, the I'll conservative side is about 10%, maybe 10% on their side on some stuff. Uh, and then at least, but the left leaning candidates are typically 90% of their side, at least on proclamation of policy. What do you thought? I'll, I'll tell you, because one, I think you mischaracterized the Republican agenda okay. um, in, a, in a majorly heinous and uh, dishonest way. Um, opportunity zones were pushed by the Trump administration. Um, small business loans coming out of SBA, uh, small business uh, loans. Allow me to respond. Well, uh, you can, but let me finish. Okay. Small business loans were pushed. I don't care what you say about it. You you said the term opportunity zones. Right, and I'm going to so give you. I'm going to give you the formula. The, you can give right, me all on, the formulas hold, you want. Hold, hold, on, on, hold on, no, 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 hold no, on. Shelley, you Shelley, allow me to make minutes. one, brother. Allow me to make one point, and I'll let you finish. After you uh, the opportunity, <laughs> the opportunity zone in the formulation of Donald Trump did something uniquely different. And I'm gonna bring that to your forefront in a moment, go ahead. That's fine, you could do whatever you wanna do. The fact of the matter is I'm saying that you mischaracterized Republican messaging around African policies deal geared towards African Americans. Well, clear it up, what, say. what are they I'll doing? Clear it up, school choice is a hugely important and very popular policy prescription. That was pushed by President Af Barack Obama. That was but also pushed by no, President Barack push, Obama. It was pushed during that, Barack that is not brother. Was, that was, was pushed also, by President Barack Obama. He created he created funding for school choice. What are you talking about? Listen, you didn't know Barack, that Barack Obama ran on charter schools and backed off of it after he got elected at the behest of the National Education Association. But even yeah. before, let's see. No, you know, uh, and also people like Roland Martin has presented those, um, listen, uh, sir, school choices. Sir, Go Barack ahead. Obama's not on a ballot. So let me get back to my point. Okay. Policy wise, African American Republicans and the Republican mm -hmm. Party do have policies that African Americans are, are, are embracing. In Florida, Ron DeSantis ran on school okay. choice and black mothers swung that election for him. How on many, time, what was the percentage? Of black women that did not vote Democrat for no, Ron my DeSantis question is, is around 12 to 13%. My, my, As you my know, question, brother, my question is simple. You just cited that black women swung the election. I'm uh, asking you a simple question. Maybe that was hyperbole. Maybe black that was a lie. That maybe that was untrue. Lie. That wasn't untrue. What was the percentage of black women you that voted for DeSantis? If it was, was anything, if it was anything higher than eight percent, then he swung the election because normally in that state, black well, black voters for that the governor for the Democrats are 94, 95 percent. In Virginia, we saw a higher turnout of African Americans for uh, Winston Sears and Doug Young, uh, um, Glenn Youngkin. So whatever the number you're going to give me, if it's not 95 percent for the Democrats, it swung an election. So let me continue on. School choice is a policy that. African Americans embrace this divorce, regardless of what the media will tell you about what the unions say. So, what's the polling data on that? Law and order, law and order. I'm law asking you a question, Shelly. What's the polling data on that? I don't know. You tell me. I know. Okay. It's, I know it's a popular. I know. It's a popular issue with African American voters. Okay. Now, if you want to tell I, me, at 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 some point, at some I'm point, brother, you're going to have to people. come to the no, table no, with don't. at least a no, figure or two. No, I don't. A you know status don't. because you keep pulling things out of your ass. I don't. I'm not. And I know that's your style, brother. No, Come listen, on, man, no. calm down, brother, no. calm down. No, Be respectful of the talk. platform, brother. You you can listen. Control yourself. 
and be respectful of the platform, so brother. You out of you out of control. Right, right. Okay, let me say something though. You you keep cutting me off. You want I, I'm providing clarity I, on points that you're making. I just would like you to provide a stat or two. You I, keep I, saying I don't need generalization. A, I don't need a stat because oh, you okay. don't. You know why I don't need a stat? Tell me We're why, talking brother. about a group of people who vote 95, 96% for one side. You you just explained that one side won't do anything for them because they have them in lock. So no, I, I did say never, it quite like uh -huh. that. Don't mischaracterize what I say. I'm going to go ahead and take the opportunity to respond now. Uh, so so let, allow me, brother, allow me to go ahead and respond to some of what you said. Now, uh -huh. black people are smart voters. You do agree with that, correct? I do. I think all voters are smart voters. All right, that's great. So I, I believe in particular that black people are smart voters. So I'm going to give you some stats, and I'll let you, you I'll let you black. actually, I'll let you actually deal with these stats, okay? Uh, so there is a reason why uh, black people do tend to vote deal more so. That. No, no, I don't want to deal with hold that. Hold on, hold on, brother. Do that here. Brother, no, let me tell you, Shelly. Tell me where they stand. Shelly. School choice. Tell me where they Shelly. stand. School choice. Shelly, I'm going to finish. Tell me where they stand on school choice. Shelly, I'm going to finish. Go ahead. You ready? Right. I know you're afraid, but it, it'll no, be okay. I promise. Of, we'll get through I'm it together. Of, uh, All right, so let me read some of the stats. So we both agree that black voters are smart voters. We both agree with that. Uh, there is a reason why black people do typically vote for left leaning candidates more so than right leaning candidates. Absolutely. Uh, so we go policy by policy from economic to education and to um, uh, higher education. Right. And K through 12 education. So let me start with economics, okay? Right. So under Democratic presidents, black families' income grew. Wait, we're talking, see, see, uh, nah, nah, nah. Hold on. Presidents no, you don't, don't get to do that. No, because, Shelly, let me say no, this, brother. This is ridiculous. Shelly, presidents don't spend Shelly, money. Shelly, Shelly don't, don't you don't have. Spend, Shelly. Presidents don't spend money. Shelly. I was saying that you could cut me off. Presidents Shelly. don't spend money. Presidents Shelly, don't listen, spend man. money. That's a ridiculous. I wouldn't dare it's come to your show. And literally cut you off for making your Absolutely. own point if, if on your program. If I was saying something ridiculous, you would. If I was saying Sir, something I would allow your start. ass say something ridiculous to put okay. yourself in a corner. No, so no. I absolutely say would. But ridiculous. at the end of the day, brother, I will respect your platform. Voters, you say a Shelly, line, I'm going to finish, brother. Day. Either I cut your mic and finish, or you can finish okay. with me, or you can run. Which way? Which one you want to do? Anyway, you can cut my Which mic. That would be you running. You scared? Matter is saying that people. Are you scared? For me to cite a simple stat. No, you said okay. it before. I've been on. All right, I'm going to say it again because everybody didn't. Everybody wasn't a, watching that it's day. A lie. So I'm going to say it again. It's a lie. Oh, okay. So so let me say it, and then it's you tell me what the lie is. The president doesn't spend money. Period. End okay. of story. Brother, I am going. The to president finish spends the not a dime. Man, you're showing yourself to be afraid, brother. What you scared of? I already know if, if what I'm saying is wrong, brother, let me say the wrong thing, right? Absolutely. There Absolutely. you go. All right, that's how we're going to get Absolutely. it in. Let's say the wrong thing. So there's a reason why uh, black folks do tend to vote for left-leaning candidates more so than right, because left-leaning candidates bring them a win more so than right-leaning candidates do. And I'm going to read some of these wins. After they okay? have it already. All right. All right. So here's some of the wins. Uh, black families' incomes grow on average about a thousand bucks a year. But only grow one hundred and forty-two dollars under Republican leadership. Uh, the Mr. black president, unemployment keep rate. President, man, you gonna keep doing that, keep uh, really, man? You gonna really president. keep doing that? Don't lie, sir. Keep sir. President. That's what you want to say. That leadership, sir. president. No, the data that I'm citing says president. Is from, sir, the the says data president. that I'm citing says president. We have no leadership Shelley. in this country. That's Shelly. one side, sir. You're like a if child, a man. It's like herding a cat. God, oh, no. come it's on, just, brother. I'm not going to allow you to say lies. Man, get off my show. Argument. Have a good day. Goodbye. I, I'll brother. call you later, Love man. You're being silly. Basketball. You're ridiculous. What you're talking I'm about, in. you won't allow. I'm you're in. on somebody else's you. show. You're dumb. You're silly. You're stupid. Bye. I love you. Bye. You're going to lie. You're a liar. You're scared. He's afraid. Poor little man. Little tink tink. He's afraid of facts. He had to keep bloviating. Scared to hear them, but I will go ahead and say that for the sake of the audience who's still here. Um, so there's a reason why black people do tend to vote left more so than right, because when you vote for a right-leaning candidate, uh, black folks get defunded. Uh, black folks lose money in jobs, they lose money in bank accounts, and they lose money in savings, and they lose money in higher education access. So I'm going to read the stats. Uh, here are the stats under Democratic presidents: black families' incomes grew, and this was actually. This was actually done in reference to the policies of those presidents and not just the presidents. So that's the part I wanted to correct dear Shelley on, which he didn't want me to. Uh, so under democratic presidents and policies, 
Incomes grow on average of $1,000 annually, but only grow on average about $142 under Republican policies. The black unemployment rate fell by a net of 7.9% across 26 years of Democratic policies, but went up a net of 13.7 points during 26 years of Republican policies. And across the years of Democratic leadership, black poverty, black poverty declined by a net of 23.6 percentage points, but grew grew by three points when Republicans held the policy directive. So those are problems and it's very similar also for Latinos in America as well, Latinos in America. And so unfortunately, I didn't want to continue going back and forth with Shelly, he was on one today. He is afraid of actual facts. I hope my dear brother gets his life together, I still love him.